Okay friends, welcome back. And basically, where we left off in the last tutorial was that we had just replaced this params input parameters and replaced it with a function call, which then goes down here and makes uh, returns a object, JavaScript object, which in turn uh, gives the params what the things are to be searched for, or actually the param properties for the URI, and then it goes on to do the search. So now all we are left to do with do is that we have to just fetch the data and then return the same city which we have just uh, typed out here in the in the input element so we'll just go ahead and do that so it's quite easy so all we have to do is that we have to make a call to the update weather function actually it should be like update city but then whatever it's just fine and now what I'll do is that I'll make this thing return the city name. Okay. And now all we have to do is that we have taken the city is equal to an update weather function. And we'll just put in a this dot update weather. Okay. So now what will happen is that as soon as get data function is called it will just go on to the update weather thing and then fetch the uh, city name from the input variable or the input ele element input tag out here and then we'll get the city uh, which is to be searched for and then i'll replace this part out here with the city variable okay so now basically all these thing should be working so let's see what happens I'll just okay so let's see what happens Okay, so now I'll just type in something else like Manchester and do the search. Okay, so we see that the search ha that the update had been made Manchester, but but the, the but the app we see had not worked. Plus we see that no no data of any kind is available. Okay, so what's b the basic reason for that? Actually, the basic reason for this kind of activity is that as i told you earlier that iron ajax event has this auto property which would automatically automatically go on to fetch the data as soon as the page is loaded so when this page actually loads what this iron ajax does is that it just goes on to fetch the data so as soon as the page loads this get data function is called and out here the in return the get city function is called which in turn tries to take in the value from this input element now when the page is actually loaded the input element is actually empty okay so since the input element is empty the city name passed along with it is also empty so that's the reason why nothing is actually getting returned as as part of the city name so what we'll have to do is that we have to combine the iron ajax call with this button click out here so that when we click on the button then iron ajax goes on to do the request and in that case we'll see that the city name will also be populated correctly so in the next tutorial guys we will just go on to do that stuff and so meet you guys in the next tutorial and please keep subscribing to the channel and thank you